lighting within uh, hospitals and across the healthcare sector is probably um, in many ways an underrated um, resource. A lot of people take the lighting for granted and as a result um, there hasn't been as much upgrading and, and changes needed. Um, there's huge amounts of energy saving potential but also the huge potential for improved um, patient welfare through uh, lighting upgrades. The lighting within hospitals has always been a secondary consideration. What I tend to do is just look at providing a level of lighting that is seen as satisfactory. What we're now looking at is looking at lighting as a resource and how to improve patients' well-being, understanding and hopefully recovery times. The funding side of it is always going to be difficult um, because it's public money. I think as, as a lighting manufacturer we need to look at how do we actually put across the solution? What are the benefits? And it's not just about the money. The energy savings are a massive benefit for them. The NHS are increasingly under pressure to save money um, and try and use any money they have more towards patients rather than towards um, the buildings and things like that. I think healthcare is, is the same to any large sector where there is um, a hesitancy for change and innovation. Um, but I think now that uh, there is a lot more di um, direct and indirect funding, it's encouraging people to make those changes. It would be a good idea to actually have a, a centre of excellence where there's some very knowledgeable people who can advise generally to the NHS on the best solutions for, you know, for, for the issues they've got. Um, best practices in lighting would be extremely good um, and including the uh, like a showcase area, showcase hospital, even if it's using a facility that's already there, um, that we can see the lighting in, in progress. What we would want to have a component of lighting scheme as a local lighting by the bedside with a, with a local lighting control so that the individual patients do have the, the option of controlling the light on their, depending on their requirements. I would definitely support moves in the sector of guidance. There is legislation out there. So it is for us to, to help them identify what, what, what the guidance is and how that can have an impact on the solution.